welcome to my playhouse and today I'm gonna be playing in the house or rather I'm gonna be working on the house this is a playhouse so I tend to try and improve the house from time to time so today I've been in one of my other videos I was showing you how to do these walls or how I'm doing these walls and I'm not really an expert I'm more like a homegrown genius I'm just gonna let that sink in, homegrown genius, I just, I just came up with that. So, I don't know if you know how this works, but you know, down here there's a couple of buttons. I think it's down here. Um, it might be different in the UK and in Australia, they might be down over here. But over here is the like and the dislike button. And let's just go into the like button. Um, if you like the bad jokes that I make, you press the like button. If you like me to stop making bad jokes, you press the like button. I'll sort them out, no problem. Just click the like button and I'll sort out if you want me to stop or continue. And there's another button down there, it's, that's the dislike button. You don't want to press that. And the like button was created by God. The dislike button, the other guy. And you know those schoolgirls that Buku Haram kidnapped in Nigar Nigeria? Well, if you press the dislike button, one of those innocent schoolgirls will be no more. And it's gonna be your fault! I think that was enough bullshit for now. Let's go to the, to the scenery and see what I'm doing here. I'm I'm exchanging this door. I have been talking about this in another video and this door is not a standard door. Uh, when this was made it was probably a standard door. Let's see if we got a, got a measuring thing here. Here is the measuring thing and this door is 78 centimeters wide. And if I was to go out and buy a door that is 78 centimeters wide it would probably mean that I would have to have that door specially made and that would cost me. So instead I have decided to make the door a little bit wider so that I can put in the next standard door in the size where it's up. And that is actually, uh, this is the frame for it. Uh, and the next standard door is like 82.6 centimeters wide. So I am putting in one of those and uh, before I started filming or actually last weekend I started this project and I cut this uh, where's my finger there I cut this line with a big angle grinder this dude and a very nice diamond tip thing or thingy and I was hoping that this would be wide enough to go straight through the wall and just cut off some of it and then the, the wood on this side that be a like stopper a... for that but it's turned out that even though this it's about 10 centimeters wide the brick wall itself I think but well, I didn't measure this out very well because the, the anchor grinder is only able to cut like this amount and it's just short of what I needed. Oh yeah, the wall is about 11, 12 centimeters wide. It goes all the way out there. And the angle grinder is it's able to cut about seven centimeters, seven and a half. Uh, we can see that if we put it in there, it's stuck at about seven centimeters. So, ah, that wasn't enough. So I thought this could have been done really easy. Uh, it's not. It's not going to be that easy. So, but now I'm going to dis detach this door and see if I can straighten this out, cut some more of the rocks out, and. Using an anchor grinder indoor is a bloody mess. There is dust everywhere. And I have the vacuum cleaner right here. 
and I've actually just been cleaning out in front of yeah, the I'm door. Not, I'm not cleaning a whole lot because I will have to use the angle grinder again and it's going to be the same mess once again and it's a very fine dust and it gets in everywhere. But it's better to have the, the vacuum cleaner and more or less I was vacuuming so that I don't step in the dust and carry it around in the entire house. Well, I'll start by just taking off the door and I got a crowbar and if I lift it here it should come off. It's a bit weird, the plan is really that the door is never gonna be sitting there again and it has been there for so long that I've kind of gotten used to it. And now I'll take out the framing of this, um, but, but to do that I think I have to remove the, the, the trimming on the other side. I think I have to remove this because it's, it's nailed into the rest of the door. So. I'll try and take this off without damaging it and too much. And my network wire will have to find another place to stay at. It seems that, that this cupboard has been made after the, this door trimming thing has been put on, so it goes in behind it. That's irritating. I have no idea if I'm going to be able to take that out or if I'll have to saw it all the way down. It's going to be a it's going to be a problem to get a saw in there. I could do it with the angle grinder, but it's not really meant for wood. Beautiful! Well, I'll have to do some fixing. <laughs> it's not pretty. Okay, the door so far. I've, I've been cleaning it up. I don't like... I don't like the mess when it's not clean. So I've been cleaning up the doorway and cleaning up the hallway so that I don't get too much dirt everywhere. And now I have a, I have a is that a called a saw saw or what is this called? And I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut out the, the framing, the door frame. Let's see if I can get that out in, without breaking the wall too much. Over here it doesn't matter very much because I have to take that out anyway. Very nice. 
nice big piece. And I think I'm gonna do the, other, the same thing over here at the other side. And that way I can get the bottom part out. And then concentrate on the top part afterwards. The top part might be the difficult one because things can fall down and stuff like that. And I don't really trust this piece of the wall too much. It's like trying to operate on a biscuit. Okay, um, and what we got here is, uh, let's just call that easy access to the basement. There's just a hole down to the basement and I can see my pipes, the heating pipes going right there. Oh, out of the view. The heating pipe going right there. That's kind of fascinating in some way that's gonna be a chance to put, put something back on there I'm gonna take the vacuum cleaner and clean this out and see what I have to work with That's gonna be a challenge. First, I have to break down this piece of the wall without, I don't want everything to go down into the basement. It's just gonna be even further to carry it. So I'll put some kind of a thinky over this so that it doesn't drop down there. And then it's gonna be a challenge to, to put the base of the door on that. Holy Christ, who made this shit? I really love this saw. It's so easy to have a circular saw without a power cord. It goes a lot faster, you don't have to think about it. And you're done, and it's absolutely brilliant. And well, let's see if I did enough. I wanted to make this board. Can we see this? No, can't. So let's do so that we can see it. Just wanted to make sure that everything did not end up in the basement. It's just temporarily. Actually, it looks quite good. I'll see if I can get rid of this. I think I want to cut that nail. I didn't really show you the nail. The nail is right here, that thing. So if I cut that out, I'm expecting some of this to come down more quietly. Probably there's a nail right there. There's a nail right there. I've, I've cut that with. Cool. So that might not be as big a problem. And all of this is coming down anyway. But I don't. I don't want to ruin this side too much.
I cut one nail over here, but there are two. So now we actually have the door frame out of the frame. And I can see the amount that I need to cut over here. I'm more or less only half through. That's irritating. Probably do it from out here. There's gonna be dust everywhere. Yeah, there's no way around it. I have to cut again. Well, I just found a brilliant new way to hide the, my bracelets. So, um, thumbs up. This is gonna be so dusty. It's gonna be messy as hell. So, I'm gonna prepare that and we're gonna bring down the wall. way to mess up your house in no time it's perfect angle grinder brick wall you know, concrete wall you will have a fine layer of dust everywhere it takes no time at all This looks very nice. I don't know if I have to take a little snatch off here and there, but I think we'll put this together now and see if how well it fits in there. Let's see what's in the bag. I've been in the basement, I got some supplies, screws, they look like this, they're, they're not that long, but it's a door, it's not supposed to go anywhere, uh, and some glue, which, glue, and I'm gonna glue it together, and that'll be fine. I think I can put this together and it wouldn't, it doesn't matter how it's, which, it, it can only go one way. Really stupid to do this wrong. This will be in the bottom and that will be in the top and afterwards I can turn the door around and make sure that it fits in there perfectly. So I'm just gonna do that. Now you can see all the things that I found that are out of frame, sorry. Screws, drill, not pre-built, pre-drill. Okay, the battery ran dry, so 
Now I have put together the frame that is gonna be going in the door. Just gonna try and fit it over there. See how that goes. Well, it's going to be needing some fine adjustment. I haven't. Should probably have taken off half a centimeter more. It's very snugly, so I'll just have to take the ankle grinder and polish off a bit. It's, it's kind of like half millimeters that are missing somewhere. It's not going to be a big problem, but it's going to be a hell of a mess again. Okay, I expected that this would be boring, so I didn't record this final bit. Uh, more or less, I've just been polishing the wall over here to make sure that this goes in. And then when I was completed, I measured it. And down here, oh, down, finger, finger, down, down here there's 83 centimeters across. And in the middle here, there's 84 centimeters across. So. I'm expecting this one to to like mending, making a bend outwards. I have no idea if that's visible. It's not visible on this fish eye camera lens. I have to take that into account when I fasten this door frame. I'm still playing with the door and right up here there's like a gap and it's rather big and I was wondering why that is and I found out that the bottom piece of the door, the old one, was a lot thicker than the one that's on my new door. So if I lower this all the way down, I'll have a gap in the top. And I will, I'll have problems when I get a door in here to be able to open over the rock. I'm not, I'm not keeping this rock. I'm getting a new one somewhere along the way. But uh, it's probably gonna be the same thickness, so I might as well use this as a measuring thing for when I do get a new one. So I need to uh, higher the door a bit so that, and I have this gap to work with. And at the same time, I, it's a good thing to have the door level. There is the leveling device. And so I have to get the door up in height and get it level. And I mixed up some some tile adhesive to do just that to put underneath where the uh, the easy access to the basement is. And right now, I think the door is sitting on this part over here. And not really sitting on the wall. There's like wall from the basement over here and over there. I don't think it's using that very much. I think it's more or less just sitting on this piece of concrete. So I'm gonna clean that up and then I'm gonna put some more tiling adhesive on it to higher it a bit. And I have some of these. in different sizes so I should be able to create the right height for it to sit on in the corners out here and I'm just gonna fasten these with another some more tiling adhesive and it's probably gonna be great sure it's gonna be great well so this is what I've been doing until now been putting out some tiling adhesive along this way to help it windy i can feel the wind from 
to the basement coming up so that's really not insulated very well so that this is more or less it's a disaster from down there but it's a good thing that I found this I have the door probably where it's gonna be <laughs> because I have already drilled some holes into the side to fasten the door on, on the lower side here and I'm gonna put in these screws and they have kind of a big head so I want to make sure that they're going in under the wood so I have the plan of just just drilling a little bit with this big drill so that the, the big screw can go nicely in under yeah, I'm just gonna go very quiet And I'm gonna do this one. There we are. And I'm gonna put in a couple of screws, once one in each side. And I have a little piece of a pin that I'm gonna put in. And I wanna see if I can find something to put on sides here. I'm just going to put some tiling adhesive on it and put it in the hole. And now it's not going anywhere. And the, the gap in the top of here became considerably smaller. There is still a small gap there, but it's not as big. It's, it's bigger out here, but in the middle it's not so big. So. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna end the video here because um, I just I couldn't put in the last screw up here because my electric drill ran out of battery. It's gonna be charging for at least two hours and, and this video is probably already long enough so but let's let's have a look at what what I've done and put in another screw up here this line is pretty good and straight this line is not as straight it the door has a tendency to to bow outwards or this piece of wood has a tendency to to kind of bow that away so I tried to put in a spacer there to bend it out this way and it's working a bit but it's kind of bending too much or too little or something like that so, and to make this work I really have to go and pick up a door for it and I haven't done that yet so I'm just putting in the frame and then the door will come I might go pick up one tomorrow. It looks very not straight up at the top, but that's actually the board that is up here. That's Thank you straight. for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again. And uh, do leave a comment in the section below. Have a nice day. Bye bye.